this tutorial I'll show you how to create a proxy class for a particular WCF service now uh, in case of a product what happens that for a public viewing you can't expose your service metadata publicly so in certain cases it happens like a particular client download the metadata of a particular service create the proxy class and client is actually communicating to the service through that particular pro proxy class now in certain cases for security reason you can just expose the metadata uh, let's say the service is actually an integrated service with your application let's say there is a silverlight application and WCF service is actually uh, running in the behind in the back in that case you can't simply uh, expose the metadata you need to actually uh, you need to stop the publish publishing of the metadata in public so in that cases when you are deploying your application in the production how you will get the proxy class now let's say this is my WCF service and it has some operation which is actually implementing I my service these are very basic and simple now now I'll open the solution explorer and I'll show you that uh, there is one folder I have created over there I have kept some bat files now let's say this particular bat file which is saying download my service metadata dot bat what it's doing it's actually creating an output path now that particular output path is this one references my service this folder I have set over here as output path so the objective is in this output path this particular service download my service metadata dot bat file if you will execute it will take the particular service application assembly as input and the assembly path as well as the assembly path as input and it will create the WSDL and XSD schema file so for that as it is uh, .NET 4 application the SVC tool service command tool will be uh, resided in this path it's under Microsoft SDK Windows version 7.0a bin NetFX 4.0 tools this is very important if it is 3.5 then the path will be this so let's see uh, here if you can see I have written a post will event command in my WCF service build event so in the post build after a successful build what it will do it will actually try to execute this download my service dot bat file which is situated under my solution directory over there there is a reference folder under that there is a bat folder and this bat file has been saved over there now I am passing two parameters one is solution directory if you go to macro you will find that 
solution directory is actually the directory name of the project and target path is actually the assembly path okay and definitely you need to have read write permissions over there so please do check otherwise there will be compilation error so if I just build it if it succeeded what I'll find that just now the XSD schema file and WSDL file got generated now our task is to that when the client will build the client at that point of time in the pre-build event we need to create the proxy file out of this XSD and WSDL. So create my service proxy dot bat. Over here I am just mentioning the particular name of the proxy class. What I will do it will take the WSDL file, whatever WSDL file available, star dot WSDL means any WSDL file, uh, any file with WSDL extension, any file with XSD extension, and it will not generate any configuration file as I am mentioning no config. Then it will generate this particular my service proxy one dot CS. Now definitely, I need to have a pre-build command let's say my WCF client is the client which will consume the my WCF service in that case in the property in the pre-build event we should actually have this create my service proxy this particular uh, command which will actually execute create my service proxy dot bat and I am pro uh, providing project directory and solution directory as the input so project directory is something the client uh, directory and the solution directory is something uh, the the root path of the application uh, the solution folder now if I'll just build it will generate my service proxy one dot cs which is actually the proxy class for this particular assembly and now with the help of this proxy class you can actually invoke any of the operation exposed as a contract and the client can communicate to the service